Well, thank you all for being here. I am humbled and grateful. I hope everyone can hear me. I'm humbled and grateful to be your nominee. I, I want to thank all of you for all of your support, your votes, our volunteers, my staff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I also especially want to thank my wife, Chelsea. Um, <laughs> that's right. Without her and our two boys, Carter and Jack, this would not have been possible. It's very, very important that, to me that this has been a family effort. So I want to thank her and our boys for their sacrifice. I especially also want to thank Mike and Desmond. Uh, they're very good men. They're good Democrats. They ran campaigns that made all of us and our party stronger. So I want to thank them. The stakes are incredibly high in 2016. We are facing the party of Donald Trump, and we are facing David Young, who supports Donald Trump, and who has never disagreed with a single thing that he has said. Iowa Republicans are fleeing Donald Trump at his rhetoric. We even had a, a Republican state legislator change his party affiliation. But Donald Trump is standing by Trump. Uh, David Young is standing by Donald Trump and his hateful rhetoric. And it is extremely clear, and it's become even more clear over the past few weeks, based on his behavior and his votes, that David Young works for Washington, Republican insiders in the Tea Party, not for Iowa voters. That's the choice. That's the contrast that exists for the voters as we get closer to November. We need a representative who will put Iowans first, who will put working Iowa families first, and will put, will put Main Street before Wall Street. Yeah. That's what I intend to do. We're going to work to raise the minimum wage. We're going to work on equal pay for equal work, paid family and medical leave, Making, making, making sure that we uh, maintain Social Security and Medicare for current seniors and future retirees. Making sure we're investing in our infrastructure to create good American jobs here at home. Yes. And we're also going to make sure that we can pack climate change, which is an existential threat. <laughs> the task that we have is very clear. We are in a fight for our future. And the only way that we win that fight is by standing together. So I ask all of you, I ask all the Democrats, I ask all voters and citizens of the 3rd District to join our campaign to take back our congressional seat. And together, this is a fight we will win. Thank you very much.